Hi, I'm Maurice van Straten from Visual Impact and we're going to be having a look at some of Sony's mirrorless cameras out there. These mirrorless systems are challenging classical DSLR systems and it's worthwhile to have a look at these. We hope you enjoy these videos. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stefan Al from Visual Impact and I'm going to review the new mirrorless range from Sony. Uh, the, the camera that I'm starting with today is the RX10 II um, and this is a really exciting camera from Sony. Okay, it has a one inch memory stacked CMOS sensor, um, an XMOS sensor, um, which makes this camera really, really, really fast. Um, there's a couple of advantages to this. I mean, it has a 32,000 shutter, allows you to record in um, 1,000 frames a second or in 960 frames a second if you're in America, um, and also allows you to shoot an S log um, directly to the card in 4K. This camera is really, really um, an exciting thing from, from Sony, especially since it's only about $1,200 for uh, a full camera kit. Um, there are so many things about this camera that I'm excited about. Um, I've been playing around with it for a couple of days now, um, starting with it has a built-in Zeiss lens. Uh, some of you might say, well, you know, I want to, I would rather have a lens that I can interchange with, you know, my Canon and my existing Nikon lenses. Yeah, well, that's what the A7S and the A7R Mark II are for. This camera having this Zeiss 24-200mm uh, uh, sonar bright lens on it um, is quite amazing. I mean, it's a 2.8 uh, built by Zeiss. Um, really, really, really outstanding glass. Uh, it's a pick up and go, straight out of the bag camera. Take it out, ready, ready to shoot. Um, I really like it. I really like the fact that this camera shoots in 4K internally. Well, actually in Ultra HD it shoots 3840 by 2160. Um, and the fact that you can shoot in log color space. So I can shoot in S log, S gamut, uh, the same as what you can do in an A7S or an A7R. One of the other features I really like about this camera is the new True Finder. This is an OLED bright viewfinder and being mirrorless, um, you are seeing the digital image. One of the other really good functions about this camera is that they have uh, Wi-Fi built into them so that you can connect via the Play Memories app that you can get from either the iStore or from uh, the Play Store or your download store. And you have a live preview on your phone and you can operate the camera from your phone whether you're in mo movie mode or in a stills mode. Another thing is that it sends the, the images directly to your phone uh, directly after you've shot them, which is a really cool thing if you're shooting high-res stills and you want to quickly use social media, you just send them to your phone and off they go. Um, I think that, that Sony are really um, thinking about it and thinking about the way we live in today's world by coming up with applications like this. Um, some of the other great functions is the fact that it has a tiltable viewfinder on the back. So shooting high level or low level now becomes a lot easier than the other cameras or DSLR kind of cameras that have the fixed back eyepiece. Um, this, this is a really cool function um, on all the Sony mirrorless cameras that you will be seeing in the next reviews. You can either shoot in quality dependent mode or length dependent mode on this camera at high frame rates, uh, depending on uh, what you want to use it for. I recommend that you shoot in quality dependent mode, which then gives you only two seconds burst. Um, but it's really, really good for what it is. I mean, the fact that this has a 20 megapixel sensor um, with this new backlit technology that they're using and the copper um, on the back of the sensor to release a lot faster um, is making these cameras really fast. I'm excited to see what this develops into in the future. Um, this kind of technology getting into bigger cameras is going to be a really, really exciting thing. But right now, this is a camera that you can pull out of your bag for under $1,200 that shoots in 4K, has a 20 megapixel sensor that you can shoot awesome stills, um, a 32,000th shutter which allows you to shoot those really high speed action shots, um, being able to shoot in frame speeds, being able to shoot in log, um, having a built in Zeiss lens, I mean a 24 to 200 Zeiss lens on it, and this is all for under $1,200. Um, this is a camera that has a huge fan base already and I expect to see a lot around everywhere. People just taking them out of their bags on film sets, pulling them out, just shooting that quick shot. Um, I really, really am a fan of this camera. Um, enough about this one though. Next review will be on the A7S um, and the configurations we have it with cages and so forth. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thanks, Steph, for that overview. I hope you guys out there enjoyed it.
we'll be offering you some more overviews of Sony's mirrorless products. And please note, Visual Impact both rent and sell these products. Our details will be appearing on the screen shortly, so please give us a call. Thank you very much.